everybody so uh, this is something I've been working on for a while um, this is uh, a database that uh, or a form fillable kind of database uh, template that covers everything that's come up when our in our different uh, stars games so um, <clears throat> what this is is it's a it's a it's a reactive database and um, it's in notion. So Notion is a, it's a free um, browser-based software, or you can download uh, an app onto your phone or your tablet or your PC, depending on how you want to use it. Like um, I use it for my grocery shopping too. Uh, and I, you know, I have it on my phone. So um, what this is, is it's just set up sort of like a um, table of contents. And uh, if we go into here, into uh, setting, um, we've got like uh, star systems, planets, uh, universe history, technologies, uh, all kinds of things like that. So um, let's go in here. Let's go ahead and um, let me get rid of this one. I tried to do another take of this. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and make a new planet. So this is, these are kind of like my example planets. So I have a, an actual planet or it's a moon. And then I have three gas giants that are in the same system and a, a space station. And then I have like a, a planet naming convention down here. Um, so let's see, let's go over here to uh, Don John. So Don John is just a, it's a, um, it's a, it's a generator kind of thing. It has all kinds of just random generation stuff for um, different sci-fi sci sci systems, uh, fantasy stuff, D and D, you know, Pathfinder, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, so let's go over here and let's just use the Traveler generator um, to to make a, a quick star system. So um, we. Um, <clears throat> We have some stuff in here, you know, and, and I've, I've found that um, everything in Traveler is pretty easily converted to uh, to stars. So um, this uh, this system has one white dwarf, um, you know, a garden world, an asteroid belt, one Jovian planet. So let's go ahead and let's copy this and um, let's go in here and then make a new planet. So um, because this is in my planets page, um, this is how you how you link everything up with this software is that um, you use uh, the tag system. So um, since this is in my planets page, it uh, it automatically puts the tag over here planet. Um, and then I can also give it the property um, garden world. So I know that this is, um, um, let's see, what's this system? What are we going to call this system? Bahani. It's in uh, this, uh, um, it's a garden world in the system uh, Bahani. I don't know. That's probably a god. I think that um, John John always uses gods for naming star systems. I don't know what that is from though. Um, so I can fill this out, you know, and then um, back out to um, the star systems and I can create a new star system. And um, like in uh, Persephone, for example, um, there's some information down here. And then actually I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a, um, I'm going to add a database down here. Um, and this is how you link up your uh, databases. Um, I'm going to uh, link the, the root game database for my uh, form fillable campaign. And um, I'm going to do uh, put a filter on the root game database so that only things with the tag um, uh, Persephone show up down here.
So what that does is um, it filters out everything that's in the database uh, to only include um, anything that's in the star system Persephone. So we've got the three gas giants, a space station, and then a life viable uh, moon. And um, I just, all this artwork, everything is, is from either NASA or it's from, it uses an, um, an AI art generator. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we can, you know, we can build out our star system or, um, we can, uh, go into the factions and, um, I, uh, I, uh, as an example, I was trying to sort of set up a little kind of cops and robbers kind of scenario in here. Um, so we have our, our factions, um, um, uh, we have an evil corporation, uh, a thieves guild and then our security forces right so if we go into here into uh, corporations if I click on a new one then it's automatically going to give that new entry the tag corporation because it's in the corporation folder right um, so we can call this corporation um, template uh, Corporation. And then back out. And uh, if I go into my gangs, you know, um, actually, let's uh, let's make a new NPC. Um, so I'm going to go into characters. I'm going to go into NPCs. And then um, I'm going to make a, a new NPC who is um, uh, security forces, right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it, I'm actually gonna make a copy of my, uh, my template NPC down here. Um, so uh, yeah, this, this is gonna be, um, just duplicate this one real quick. So this is gonna be my, my new NPC. I'm gonna call this guy, um, Thomas, uh, Thomas Jane, because he kind of looks like Thomas Jane, right? So then what I can do is I can put in here, Thomas Jane, um, or let's see, what was the cop, what was the guy in, um, The Expanse? Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, so we, so we're gonna, we're gonna create this, um, this new NPC who is, um, it, it, that's his, his name, right? We know he's an NPC. And we're also going to put in here that he's um, security forces. All right? So this is how you link everything up. And then um, I'm going to take out, uh, I'm going to put in the, the tag down here in the database, uh, Thomas Jane. So what that's going to do is that's going to um, create a... Uh, you know, this is just a, a template for this NPC. So, you know, I can go in here and I can put in, like if there's a stat block, like say that we're using the um, the stat block for a police officer from STARS, then we can plug all that in here, you know, into the stat block. And then like I can put in his languages and then, you know, I can say, okay, this guy is security um, forces, right? And then he has like uh, tactical um, armor, and um, you know, it, um, et cetera, et cetera, right? And then say that even though he's an NPC, he has he has a, a little bit higher than normal uh, notice skills. He has some a little bit of skill in in notice and maybe um, I don't know, like um, leadership or something like that. So we can put the the skills into there. All right, so we've um, we've got this new NPC, uh, right, and and then since we put the tag security forces in there, if I go to the security forces page, um, he's going to show like I have my kind of generic uh, security forces guy here, right, and then I have my stat block, and uh, and then I know that you know if my players start getting into trouble and I have to roll 
see how many uh, cops show up, then I roll 1d6, and I know that, you know, they carry around SMGs and stun batons, right? But then um, I also know that Thomas Jane is one of my security forces. Um, and then likewise, I can do the same thing with, um, with my uh, player characters. Um, so I have, you know, a, a, some form fillable stuff in the player character uh, page as well. I have, you know, a character sheet. And then I have some stuff where, um, as a GM, I can look at it, you know, as a glance and say, okay, I know that so-and-so has this for a physical save, this for a mental save, you know. Um, I know uh, that they have the alert focus, so they can't be surprised. And then um, I can create like little, um, um, what do you call it, uh, little tables like this. And then the um, the default uh, command is just is just backslash down here. So that gives us the, the drop down menu, and um, we can put in here uh, put a table, and then say that I want to um, uh, psychic. Uh, I want to track um, this this person. You know they're psychic, so I want to know. Um, like which um, which disciplines? Like what what uh, what disciplines are they are they trained in? Um, how much um, effort do they have? Like per scene, you know. And um, if I like if I catch them and they they did one too many teleports or one too many um, precog things, and I say, oh, you know, you only have um, two effort in uh, precog, so you know you can't can't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, I can I can go in here and you know I can create these these nice tables to just uh, keep track of everything, and then I've got all of my my different uh, player characters down here. So and then where where it really comes together though is when you have um, big overarching storylines that involve uh, lots of characters. Um, so uh, so let's say that um, for our um, our our storyline, um, let's see. So uh, the ship uh, crashes. So uh, the players um, get uh, uh, they get rudely awakened from um, uh, rudely awakened from hypersleep. Um, and um, the uh, the the our NPC character is uh, security forces, and he wakes them up, and he's like, "We need to get out of here," and they're on like a prison prison transport, and all of the player characters are prisoners, but they have to deal with the security forces or something like that, right? So we can we can um, link up, and then we can say that okay, yeah, Thomas, you know, um, Thomas is in is in this uh, storyline. Right, um, and uh, and I can also um, hot link um, the uh, um, I can hot link the um, you know like put a put a, a link in there for that person's character sheet or, or their their uh, NPC sheet and everything that I know about that character. And um, if I have to go back later on and then say, you know, like, oh, what, what did happen with that character from point A to point B, then I can easily just look up everything that involves that character using this system, right? And, um, you know, I can add um, all kinds of art to this stuff, like... Um, uh, you know, we can change up the format and do all kinds of cool stuff. Like, um, let's say that um, I want to create a, um, a checklist so that I don't forget, you know, like, okay, so so number one, uh, the ship uh, crashes, right? Um, everything is on fire. Whoops. Uh, 
Um, and then, you know, like I want to go down my list and check everything off. Like say that um, in your, your system, say that you're using the goal system for experience. And then you want to make sure that you um, update your player's goals every session to see if they're hitting their milestones so that they can level up. You can remind yourself, you know, um, uh, get uh, players, you know, updated uh, goals as you're looking at your notes or, you know, check off events like as they happen. Right. So um, that's how everything works. But um, if you go down here to the uh, to the root game database, then um, you can see here that, um, you know, in, in the database, we have that NPC that we made, and then we have our, um, uh, we have our, our little example, um, session notes. Um, and then, you know, like say that I have, I have some maps or I want to, you know, take my player somewhere. And then I want to kind of des describe something that's happening in this place then um, then I can do all of that. So everything that has come up in our games has been put into this database, but, um, but that's how you use it. So um, if, you, uh, if you bought this on DriveThruRPG, if you kicked in a buck for it, thank you. And um, if you didn't, then uh, leave, a, leave a good review. <laughs> and um, if you're confused about how any of this stuff works, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, you know, just leave a comment and then I'll try and answer your question. And um, uh, yeah, if you're a YouTube subscriber, then I appreciate you as well. But, uh, but yeah, this, um, this is a super, super useful tool for keeping track of everything with, you know, you have a campaign with lots and lots of moving parts. And then this is specifically tailored for stars. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you get some good out of it and, um, I will see you in the next one.